Hello buddy, welcome back to another video. I'm Purple Game here and today I'm playing some more Cookie Run Kingdom. So today we are back in chapter 14. Uh, we're gonna be hopefully making some progress again. Uh, it's really difficult, we struggled a lot last time, but I believe the key is probably going to be cotton cookie. So yeah, so cotton cookie, um, she is a summon healer but her summons stun enemies, so essentially, she's pure vanilla, plus licorice cookie, plus sea fairy cookie, aka, she's half my team put together, so, yeah, I can sort of see why people recommend her so much. I'm sure she's not as good as each of them individually, obviously, but, uh, yeah, so I have gotten a bit of XP, we can get her up to level 46, but as you can see, we're really, really close to level 47, uh, so I'll level up all the way, because there's a chance she'll level up. Uh, if we get a bit more star jellies, we are really close. Uh, but first, obviously, we have all the skill upgrades. So this is a fair bit of a difference. Um, so yeah, hopefully this is going to make a big difference. We also need one more epic cooldown treasure, so I'll have to steal that from someone. I think I'm going to be using her instead of Licorice Cookie at the start. Um, I think what I'm going to try is first using her as a replacement for Licorice, then a replacement for Vampire, and finally a replacement for Pure Vanilla. Or dark chocolate. Basically, I'm going to try placing every single cookie in my party with her at some point, but, uh, yeah. Uh, so hopefully, she is going to be really awesome and make everything so much easier, and we are going to win everything, it's going to be awesome. So, uh, let's get started. If you don't remember, the issue with this stage is that, uh, they apply a bunch of weakness, not weakness, um, injury. So they apply a bunch of injury, and then after they are done applying all the injury, they then apply a bunch of corruption to deal a ton of damage over time, essentially demolishing what little health your characters have left. It ends up working out pretty badly. I just realized I did literally nothing there. That was my normal party. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, not exactly what I meant to do, but let's see if we can fix that by, you know, actually putting Cotton Cookie in here. That would be a pretty darn important first step. Or my party power just dropped like a hundred thousand, but let's hope this is worth it. Let's hope this is worth it. I really hope it is. I really, really hope it is, because I'm not confident. I'm not confident in the slightest, but I really am hoping that the extra healing and the stunning is gonna... Mostly what I really want is just have Con Cookie keep um, Sea Fairy and Dark Choco and Vampire alive. If she can keep the other cookies alive, that's all I really want. I'm not expecting her to do damage, because at this point, Licorice Cookie wasn't doing a lot of damage either, and Clown Cookie's not doing no damage, she's just only doing like, you know, 16,000, which is pretty lame. Um, this did take us a while, that fight, that took us almost a minute, and there's more than three battles here, which is a little scary to think about. Um, but I mean, we are surviving pretty well, except now, look again, Sea Fairy's almost dead, so unless we can out heal her pretty quickly, which we might be able to, but probably not. Sea Fairy's going to die again, which was my whole issue last time. Sea Fairy and Sea Fairy's dead. So that's the issue. I don't really know why Sea Fairy dies during this fight. I don't know what enemy causes it, uh, but a enemy causes it, and it doesn't work out all that well. Uh, so currently, it doesn't look like we're going to be doing any better than last time, but let's give it a full attempt before I completely agree that that didn't work. Um, I do think, honestly, Dark Choco Cookie might be who I replace, as I don't think he's that important. I feel like because injury just keeps stacking on him, he's not that necessary, because even without him, my units don't get injury stacked up nearly as much, so I don't know what the whole issue is, uh, but I feel like we do pretty good without him. Okay, Cotton Cookie's gonna die any second now, just like Licorice Cookie does, uh, and we're not doing all that good. Though, honestly... Cotton Cookie survived indefinitely better than Licorice Cookie did, and she is doing more damage, so this was better. Like, it was better. Not significantly better, but we made it to the boss fight with three whole cookies, so we had a slightly better chance of doing this. Except the units are stun immune, I'm now realizing. I didn't realize that was a thing they had. That doesn't make this much better. Uh, so, you know, I'm gonna try instead of Dark Chocolate Cookie, I think. I think that makes the most sense. Uh, this was slightly closer than last time, that's all I can really say. Or than my last attempts, but man, this stage is just difficult. But let's try it, uh, do a bit more replacing. So I need to also steal one more uh, 
what is it? Topping. One more topping for Licorice Cookie as well. So, Licorice Cookie, you're getting a topping from whoever has one. Um, no. No. Someone. Those are rare. How do I always... I'm always in the need of more toppings. I don't really get it. I level up so many of them, yet they seem to get, like, lost between cookies. And I don't know on which cookies they get lost. Okay, I forgot a cookie. You have stolen some of my uh, cooldown reductions. Okay, cool. Let's try it honestly. Uh, let's see. Hey, dark chocolate cookie, are you that important anymore? Because I don't think you are. Oh, sea fairies in the front. That's not exactly what I wanted to happen, but let's give it a shot. Let's try my DPS Hever build instead. Because who knows? Maybe it'll work really well. I don't know. I wouldn't be that shocked if this worked pretty well. There is, like, massive debuff resistance. So I don't think Dark Choco Cookie's doing that good of a job at, like, what he's actually meant to do. Uh, but having said that, Seafairy's probably gonna die even faster now, which was not... That was my whole issue last time, was that Seafairy died really easily. And now she's just gonna die even easier. So that is, that's a little counterintuitive, but you know. It could work. It could certainly still work. We just have more damage now. Which does work. Um, honestly, I don't know. This is... This isn't going great. Because Seafra is still dead. Licorice Cookie's here. But if we can keep all four cookies alive, then we're set. Like, that is significantly better if we can keep all four cookies alive post this after this battle. Which we weren't able to do last time. So if we're able to do that, that is a big deal. It's just not that big of a deal. Uh, but it looks like we'll be able to do it. The combination of them is helpful. I don't know if Gone Cookie's making that big of a difference, or it's, if it's just the Dark Chocolate Cookie wasn't that helpful. Um, she's staying alive is all I really know. But I don't know if her staying alive makes much of an impact. But let's see, what's gonna happen now? Do we stand any chance at this fight? Are we doing decent? Uh, the injury is getting stacked up a bit on Licorice Cookie, which I don't like. He's also dead. Like, very, very, very dead. Any second now. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, so... We're sort of in the same position, except maybe a little worse than we were last time. So, I think that actually turned out worse for me, slightly. Uh, so the last real option is to replace Vampire, but I don't think that's gonna work. So I really don't see... Uh, don't see what I need to do. Yeah, no, this is even worse than last time. Okay, um... Well, as I said, I'm gonna keep going through the list. I'm gonna replace Vampire, Sea Fairy, and Pure Vanilla, every last cookie, until I get something that works. That is what I shall try. Um, next, I'm actually gonna try replacing Sea Fairy, because Sea Fairy is dying really easily. So if Sea Fairy is the one that dies first, if I replace the cookie that dies first with my tankier cookies, we might be, like, way better off. I don't know. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna try. And then finally, if this doesn't work, I'll try replacing Vampire, um, and then Pure Vanilla, because there's lots of cookies I can replace. It's just a question of, will any of them make a difference in the slightest? Because they probably won't. Um, but who knows? Maybe this is actually going to make a big difference. I don't know. I think Sea Fairy is actually doing most of my damage, but I honestly, I don't know. It definitely might be Vampire as well. See, this is the issue. The injury just stacking up like crazy. Not a good situation to be in. Uh, but I mean, this could be worse still. We're not doing that bad. We're doing an okay job. Our cookies are mostly staying alive, regardless of the 48 injury stack. And his enemy is about to die. Cool. This could have gone worse. Not significantly worse, but it could have gone worse. So that's something. And of course, the Empire attacks the one without the defense reduction. Okay, seriously. 66-68 injury. This is insane. He doesn't have any health left. He really doesn't have any health left. I really don't like injury. There's a new cookie coming out sort of soon. Um, like Cherry Blossom Cookie, I think. The, like, sister of Cherry Cookie. Please have a way to remove injury. That's all I'm asking for. Okay, our entire party made it this far. This hasn't happened in, like, ages. Granted, he's not gonna live long. But that was still impressive while it lasted. So, because that means Licorice Cookie's gonna survive a bit better. Which could make a big difference. I don't know. Yeah, no, this is going significantly better. I don't think it's going better enough, but this is- this run's going a lot better. So I guess maybe Sea Fairy's not as important as I thought she was. And maybe Licorice is more important. Okay!
Okay, yeah, no. So we did this with Liquid Cookie Alive now. It's a big difference. I don't know if it's enough of a difference, but it is a big difference. I don't think it's enough of a difference. I'm pretty sure we're still dead, but... It was closer. This was much closer. So, then the question obviously becomes, what do I do from now? Like, what do I do from here on? How do I make this work better? Do I try eliminating Vampire Cookie? Because that might be the solution. I could also try getting rid of something else. I'm going to try adding Seifer instead of Vampire. So essentially we're con replacing Con with Vampire, or Vampire with Con rather. I feel like that might be an option, because Vampire is really helpful, but I don't know if he's... Like, I don't know if he's doing single target damage and we're being held back by our lack of area damage, or if he's carrying, I don't know. So let's give this a shot, trying every last combination of my good cookies until this works. If we lose this stage, that'll really suck. And then it'll basically confirm to me that this stage is just, like, brutally hard. Brutally, brutally hard. I'm so used to having Vampire now, it's weird. Uh, I'm so used to that, like, big one-shot, but instead, we just have a lot of area damage, which is working. As you can see, we're doing pretty good. In fact, we're actually beating the stage faster than we have before. Normally, we beat it around the two-minute mark. You can see we're beating it significantly faster this time around. I'm liking this. I thought Sea Fairy was super helpful, but I think this team might work better. Or, sorry, I thought Vampire was super key, but I think this is working better. Yeah, I actually think this is significantly better. It's just a question of, all my cookies are on low health. I don't like that. Uh, so it's hard to know exactly if we're going to be able to stay alive. But if we are able to stay alive, this will work really well. Okay, Sea Fairy, you're so weak. Just stay alive. Awesome. Good job, Pure Vanilla. The awesome thing about this is, obviously, right now, my team has a lot of cookies that can level up. Sea Fairy and Cod Cookie can both level up a fair bit. So if I ground at more XP, I will be in a better position. I know that. And that's a big reason why I'm struggling so much. I'm well aware of it. Uh, but it's nice to know that I might have a chance without doing this. Because you know what? I think we might be about to beat the stage. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure we are. Because uh, we're going to head to the boss now with like, a, with like a minute left. Which is pretty darn insane. Because we have all of our cookies, a full party, a minute left. And neither of these enemies do very much damage. So we're in a pretty good situation right now. Uh, I don't know if we're in good enough of a situation, obviously, as I've mentioned, but we're in a pretty good situation, so that's something. Oh, we're knocking them back. That is awesome. That's pretty key, because now they're on the same playing field, which can make a big difference. Okay, the minions are dead. It's just the final enemy now. We have 40 seconds. I'm almost positive we've got this. There's no way we're dead. So, obviously, we're not dying. It's a question of, do we have enough damage? Because this enemy heals a ton, and without Vampire, we don't really have that single target damage. If we lose this right now, I'm going to be really upset, because this is so, so close. And it would be really, really annoying if we lost, because it's so, so close. Come on, any second now, we, oh, we don't have enough damage, do we? We don't. It's going to stay alive with, like, a fraction of its health left. Okay, so what this does say to me, though, is put some more damage toppings back on Licorice Cookie, because Licorice Cookie right now, I replaced some of- I didn't mean to do that. I replaced his- he used to have a semi-damage topping, I replaced them all with cooldown. But now that we have two summons, I feel like this might be better off going back to double attack. Or triple attack, rather. So let's see if with this, we're able to do it one more time. I'm going to see you guys at the boss fight, and I'm also actually going to try using crit chance here. So, much heavier on the damage side. Let's see if this is going to work. I'll see you if we make it to the boss. Okay, we got this. We made it to the boss with all our cookies alive, which basically means we've won. Uh, with a little bit more time, actually, than last time, too, which is great. So, we should be all set. We have more damage than last time by a fair bit, so we really should be good. Um, I'm still a little nervous we're going to lose, but I think we should be set. This was way closer in terms of Dark Chocolate Cookie die, but this did work better. I think defense may not work against, like, I think defense might not be applied against, um, what's it called? Against, like, corruption and that stuff, those, like, damage over time effects. So if that's the case, obviously it wouldn't matter that much. As you can see, we're doing a way better job in terms of damage. Like, the small difference, his health is significantly, significantly lower. Yeah, he's already, and he's already dead, and we had 16 seconds to spare. We had a full ability set left. I say as if we didn't completely struggle there. But this is our... Was this our first three-star in the entire chapter? I think this might have been. And we're going to get rewarded with story, which is awesome. Because 
This took basically the entire video. So what's it gonna be? What are we learning? Nothing, apparently. But no, that's our... That is our second three-star in this entire chapter. Well, I mean, let's just keep going with it. Hey, there's a small chance we'll be able to win this stage as well, so let's give it a shot. Who knows? Maybe it's doable. Probably not. Maybe it is, though. Hopefully I won't have to spend that much time on every single stage. Uh, what I do think I'm gonna probably do is- actually, no, here's what I want to know. I need your opinion. What cookies do I level up now? Do I try to get the final level of Pure Vanilla? Do I upgrade Cotton Cookie? Do I upgrade Sea Fairy? Does Cotton Cookie not matter too much for levels because it's mostly just your stunning that helps? What should I upgrade? I feel like I'm leaning towards either Sea Fairy or Pure Vanilla, but maybe Cotton Cookie's really good with leveling up and I just don't really know. I haven't noticed it because she's low level now. I don't know. What I will say is, this stage is going really good. Like, really, really good. So maybe the last stage was just a really difficult stage for some reason. It's not impossible, it's not likely, but it's certainly not impossible. But this is a huge wave of shields, and the shield on these caused a lot of problems for me. Like, a ton of problems for me. So hopefully, they won't this time around. So Pure Vanilla, you need to come off now so Sea Fairy will stay alive. Awesome. Uh, we're pretty close there, we just need one good, like, licorice hit, and they should be dead. Yeah, so we're pretty good situation now. Still, though, very difficult wave of enemies here. Uh, Pure Vanilla, keep Sea Fairy alive, please. Oh, and more shield enemies. Of course, why wouldn't there be more shield enemies? This is going to be another close one because Sea Fairy died and they're doing so much damage. And Con Cookie's dead. And Licorice Cookie's almost dead. And we're dead. Like, there's no way we're winning this right now. Okay, so that was too bad. Um, what is all of this? So many more debuffs. <sighs> So turns out we're not being the second stage, probably. Um. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Not a lot I can do here. Uh, I don't really have much XP to do anything. So, yeah, not exactly a ton I can do. I can buy XP, can't I? How much is this? Is this worth it? I can buy a lot of XP here. Let's see, if I spend 3,000... Because I have no idea. 3,000-ish. That's a, that's a lot of Milos points. That's 30 epic soul stones worth. That buys me how much XP? Like, I want to know. Because maybe that's a lot of XP that I have access to and I don't know. Uh, where are you, Cotton Cookie? You are up here. That was almost no XP. Like, practically none. That was not worth it. But you know what? It does get this at least to level 47, which is a pretty big deal. Um, so that's something. It's definitely not anywhere near enough for pure vanilla. But I mean, hey, one more level of con cookie. That's something. I do want to try that stage one more time before we end off, because otherwise this video is going to be short. This chapter is really hard, so all of these videos for this are going to be me, like, tirelessly trying to grind away. I have grinded a bit of XP, obviously I got like seven levels of con cookie off camera, but it wasn't enough, evidently. Uh, so I will keep trying to get as much XP as possible off camera today, or over the next couple days. I do apologize that we're still struggling so much. I know if all my cookies were level 60, we probably wouldn't be nearly as much. Uh, it's just, it's difficult to do. It is difficult to gain level still. Uh, what I do need to do is, I think, just have more health on my cookies for the boss. Why is Dark Choco such low health? I'm really confused about it, honestly. I really don't get it. I'm also doing horrible in terms of Dark Chocolate Cookie timing. Uh, like, absolutely horrible. They have no defense effects when I activate him. Cool. There we go. Slightly better timing. Not good timing, but slightly better timing. Okay. Con Cookie immediately onto the shields to try to counter them before they get a massive attack off. Uh, lots of damage. That's the goal. The name of the game is just lots and lots of damage. This is the final set of shield enemies that constantly weakens me. This, These are the enemies I need to absolutely demolish is my goal. Demolish these enemies so, so badly, make it so, so easy to kill them all, and then we'll be set, maybe. I mean, we're going against even more shield enemies with even more powerful of the sword dudes, so really we're just doing the stage all over again, but even harder. But we might be set, so that's something. Oh, except this time I didn't counter the shields, that was dumb. Oh, and sea fairies are- oh, and licorice and dark chop- wait, what the heck? Everyone died in, like, one move. Okay, um, I can't, like, see the effects of this boss, can I? I don't think so. 
pretty sure I cannot. What did I just do? I didn't not... Sure, guild, sure. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Uh, I sort of just wanted to still take a look at the chapter. Um, oh, these are so brutal. I beat one stage with all of that. What I do think, though, is... Sorry, I'm going to try this one more time. Might be a bit of a longer video with defense again. So back and forth. Do I want damage? Do I want defense? Do I want damage? Do I want defense? I think I want defense. So I'm going to try this one final time with you guys on camera. Hopefully we will do really well. Because I don't know what happened in that last stage. I think, honestly, the con cookie counter as the shields are about to attack does work pretty darn well. So I think I should consider doing that a bit more often. Um, but I really don't know how big of a difference that stuff made. Uh, so I will try that, because if that does make a big difference, that's obviously a big deal. Because that first shield charge and the wave with the swords does so much damage to me, it's really, really bad. I also don't really know if it's worth waiting for the defense reduction. I think it is, but I don't actually know. Dark Choco Cookie's getting such low health, which is not good, though. Not good in the slightest. Okay, they still have a fair bit more health left. Uh, we good? That's probably good. Okay, so we we're not gonna bother with Dark Chocolate for straight away this time. So, Con Cookie, I did that at the wrong timing. Did I? I don't know if I did, honestly. This isn't the boss, though, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does, but it doesn't matter nearly as much. Con Cookie, stun the shields. Don't let them get an attack off. That's your job. Keep the shields from attacking me so I can stay alive. Preferably thriving alive, but probably not. Okay, we need, like, one more good heavy hit. See, licorice. Licorice is good for this. Never mind, we need both of them. Never mind, we need another hit. Are we good? We're good. Maybe. Sort of. Possibly. Con cookie. Charge. Stun. Defense. Attack. Sea fairy. We did get the sea fairy hit off. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. But we did get the hit off, so that's something. That is something. We're still so doomed, though. Like, there's no way we have enough health to deal with this boss. We're not out healing them unless we can kill a shield. Which we're so close to doing, by the way. So if we do kill one of the shields, we probably could do this, but... They're just doing so much damage, and I'm still dead. Okay, um, that sucks. That really sucks. Let me know, again, what cookie should I be leveling up? Is there something else I should be doing here? Or is this really just it? Do I just need to level up my cookies and grind away? Because I don't know. This is really difficult. This kind of sucks. It's nice when it works, but it's really difficult to make progress in this game. But you know what? Thank you all for watching even still. Have a wonderful day. Give the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe. All that awesome stuff. And just, I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.